Are you new to live streaming? Have you ever used OBS before? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to spice up your live streams with some OBS widgets that we're gonna get in Streamlabs. So let's get to it. Now with Google Hangouts going away, a lot of people are going to start switching over to OBS. So it's gonna become really good to understand how OBS works. If you're interested in me doing a video to tell you how to set up an OBS stream for YouTube or Twitch, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Let's dig right in and I'll show you how to add Streamlabs widgets into your OBS. Now why would you wanna do this? Well, you might not be able to use Streamlabs OBS if you use a Mac, like I do. So sometimes you might wanna add some widgets into your OBS natively. And there are so many different types of widgets, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different kinds. They all basically add the same way. When you're finished watching this, you're gonna be able to add widgets to your OBS like a champ. It's really cool. So let's go ahead in here. You can see I just have a standard setup and I also have the two cap cards listed. One is the microphone and one is the video. So everything else that you see in here is just me. So to add any widget to this scene, it's really simple. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna select the widget. Let's add an event list. Event lists are cool. Basically, there's all kinds of different features that you can use with the event list. It's gonna show you right here, test donation, test subscriber. Um, so you can have it alert you for donation, subscribers, members if you're on Twitch, super chats, or test merch. Now just make sure that you log into Stream OBS with the account that you're going to be streaming with. In this case on YouTube, I stream on a bunch of different accounts. I wanna make sure I log in to the correct account through Streamlabs. Now right here you can see it shows you what your text is going to look like when it comes up. Um, you can change that with this right here. You could drop it down. It could look like carbon fiber, whatever you want. Whatever you want, you can mess around with this. The check marks here next to donation subscribers and all that stuff just show you the type of events you can be alerted for to take this event out and put it in your stream all you do is you copy this link right here and then what you do is you go back into obs what we're going to do is click the little plus we're going to go to browser source let's call this event list right here event list and it adds it right in there, you can see. And here you just paste in the link that you just copied out of Streamlabs, super easy. You click okay and you can see in this red box right here, there you go. It comes up, it shows you your most recent subscribers or whatever you want. Now, if you wanted to test this, all you have to do is go into your Streamlabs, you can click test donation, test subscriber, test member, test super chat, and test merch, any of which you can select or unselect down here. So that's the event list. Let's add a view counter. View counters are really easy. You could do Twitch, YouTube, or mixed stream. I stream on YouTube, I don't stream much on Twitch. You just copy this link out of here and you go back over into your OBS. We're gonna add once again this is going to be a browser source let's call this viewers create and there we go you just copy that link into the url boom and there you go so there is your view count right there and when you have viewers it'll show you i personally like the jar let's add the jar what the jar is, is it's a donation tracker. You put your link for donations in the description. People can donate using that link and it will fill the jar with coins and all sorts of cool stuff. So you could do this with YouTube subscribers or sponsors or YouTube super chats, any of the things that you want. You just select down here the type of cup you are looking for. Let's use that little beer stein, that looks like fun. You copy out your link. And we're going to go back over here to OBS and we're going to uh, let's do browser source once again. And this one we're going to call uh, cup. And we're going to create that new. And you just go in the same as all of them, you paste the link in here, and boom. Soon enough, you will have a cup appear right here. Uh, 
Now it's not the cup I selected, but boom, look at that. It even has some extra coins that just drop in there. Very, very cool animation. Very cool. I think what you gotta do is I gotta go down here and save my settings. Because my settings have changed since the last time I used the cup. So it just dropped the old settings. And we could test all this stuff right here and flip back over real quick and boom, you could see. John tip $37 and the coins just drop and that's how this works. This is a great way to get donations even if you don't have super chat. People can see the donations happening and they come across the screen. It's a lot of fun. Let me show you one other way that you can collect donations and have something come across the screen. Okay, so the alert box is what we're looking for here. The alert box uh, can be set up in all kinds of different ways. You can mess around with this one. I'm just going to kind of show you what it does. So it's the same process. You copy the link out. You go over in here and you select browser source. We're going up. Maybe we'll type. Maybe we'll type alert box. There we go. Then we are going to add the link right here, and we should have an alert box right there, right there. Let's put it over here. Now, what does the alert box do? Well, let's go back into Streamlabs, and I will show you. Um, but uh, let's go into donations right here, uh, so you can you can change from text to you know the, this is the different layouts and all that kind of stuff this right here shows you the alert it's gonna come across and you can speed it up you can use audio uh, you could select different audio clips right here but let's let's select this little guy here for our donation let's say we wanted to test our donation let's do that and we'll pop over here and you can see there he is and a little alert so you can see both of them are going and that's how to put alerts into your OBS this is a really really cool interactive way to do this there are a lot of other tools that you can add to your live streams make it a lot more interactive and encourage people to donate to you and you could do this no matter how many subscribers you have you don't need super chat enabled it's really really cool stuff adding any widget to OBS works the exact same way through Streamlabs so you can go in there and explore all the other widgets that they have to offer I just showed you a couple man I love this tool it's a lot of fun and it doesn't take up any processing power on your laptop if you struggle with thumbnails and you want some professional templates that you can use for free check out this video right here or if you just want to see the next video YouTube suggests for you could check this one out right here go out there film something awesome today make it count have a great day and I'll see you soon.